In this video, we will discuss the summary of Two Lady Rams by Mulk Ras Anand. For critical analysis of the short story, visit the blog. The link is in the comment box. Now let's start. Mulk Ras Anand's Two Lady Rams is a short story about a contractor, Lalla Zindaram, and his two wives, Suki and Sakuntala. The government confers the title of knighthood on Zindaram. After the announcement of the title, people congratulate him and he feels elated. To receive the title at the ceremonial program, Zindaram thinks of going with the younger wife, Sakuntala. He asks her to buy a new sari and get ready for the occasion. On the other hand, the servant informed the elder wife of Zindaram, Sukhi, that their master is going to the party with Sakuntala. After hearing the news, Suki feels zealous and is afraid of losing her right as the elder wife of the master in the house. To stop her apprehension, she goes to Sakuntala's room early in the morning where her husband and her young rival are sleeping. She starts to pour her anger at Sakuntala. Eat out of her master, this is the last humiliation which you have to cast on me. But I will pull every hair off your head and blacken your face. On hearing her abusive language, they get out of the bed. Sir Jindaram orders Suki to go to her room, but she defies her husband's order. Failing to control unstoppable Suki's continuous flow of abuse, the master forcefully takes her by the hair to her part of the house. Fight between them is not a new thing for the husband. Suki and Sakuntala often fight with each other over their position in the house. To settle their seven years of coal wars, the husband divides the house into two parts between his two wives. But the ongoing conflicts take a new turn when Jindaram receives the title of knighthood. The news of asking Sakuntala by Jindaram to the party intensifies the jealousy in Suki. Though Jindaram usually pays no heed to such matters, but after Suki's protest, he becomes worried. Jindaram realizes that he is in trouble. The cause of his worry lies in the invitation card for the garden party as the card is addressed to him and Lady Ram. He can choose only one of his wives for the garden party. Therefore, Jindaram faces the dilemma of indecisiveness. So Jindaram feels helpless and telephones the ADC to ask for an appointment to meet the governor instantly. However, the ADC is busy with the arrangement for the garden party and avoids him. After the rejection, he goes to the governor's residence with a hope and reaches there. At the entrance of the governor's residence, the guard says that the sahib has ordered that no one should disturb his siesta. To his disappointment, there is no way to talk privately with the governor and he returns home. On his way home, Jindaram keeps figuring out a solution to the ongoing problem. He feels stuck and helpless. However, amid his worry, his driver gives him the idea of taking both his wives to the party. Hearing the idea, he feels relieved and joyful. Since he has married two wives, therefore, he certainly has the right to call both Lady Rams. If he takes both to the party, the governor can't stop them. The only problem lies in the invitation card. Therefore, Jindaram alters the words from Lady Ram to the two Lady Rams and takes both to the garden party. When they arrive at the party, fortunately, they haven't encountered an awkward situation. They receive a warm welcome at the party. In fact, the governor's wife compliments the two Lady Rams on their beautiful saris, and the governor gives the title of Star of the Night Commander of the Indian Empire to Jindaram. Since that day, people see Sir Jindaram and his two Lady Rams in every ceremonial program, Empire Day, cricket match or horse race in the capital, as those occasions are incomplete without them.